Oh hey there people, I just got up not too long ago, had a shower, and here I am. Went out, let the dog out, checked the mail, and guess what I saw there? That's right, my new e-darts. Darts in the mail, darts in the mail, oh my god, we got darts in the mail. That's not the right song. Well, what do you, anyway, um, this one here is not for e-juice. It's for my, my medicinals. So, uh, this will be probably tried later on tonight if need be. And uh, yeah, you just load your your herb into the top portion, screw it onto battery, press the button right there, and when it fires, the screen turns on. If I can find the button, the screen turns. Oh, one second. Let me turn off the stupid light on the camera. I'll tell you that light it helps out a lot, but sometimes it just cocks over the program. But there's a screen on the bottom, and when you pull the trigger, it tells you how many puffs. What did it say? It said eight. This thing's been used. Anyway. It tells you that and it tells you the battery life, which is really good. I wish Ego batteries had this. Some do, but not all don't. And what I like is the threading on it. Um, I can unscrew this, uh, I don't know, or a dry herb atomizer tank and put any one of my other tanks onto here and use it like an e-dart every day. So that is freaking cool. That is a really, really cool feature. I, I like that. But... Um, no, that's not what today's video is about. I just thought I'd show you guys because I'm probably not going to do a YouTube review because uh, I don't feel like going through all the bullshit that Pug1 did just to get the THC shows to go. Uh, I don't feel like dealing with that bureaucracy and all that nonsense. So I'm just not going to do a video on it. Uh, I'll tell you probably in a later video how well it works compared to like a pipe or a water pipe or whatever. I'll let you know then. But, um, I won't be doing a full review on it because, uh, yeah, I don't feel like going through the whole getting flagged for, for filming drug paraphernalia and then having to talk to YouTube and explain for, to them that, you know, no, like, it's okay and stuff. I was just showing them that there's a different way instead of getting cancer while having yoints and stuff. And I don't feel like dealing with that nonsense. I got better things to do. So, um... Yeah, speaking of better things to do, I wanted to go to Home Depot today and buy that kit to fix the weed whacker. Dad's weed whacker. The uh, home light. I want to buy that. And then uh, there was something else that I wanted there that I can't remember. I don't think they'll have gear oil. That's at Crappy. Got to go to Crappy for that. But, uh, yeah, I was thinking about doing that today. Go take a romp over to the, to the Home Depot and pick up some shit, you know, pick up some shit, because there's all sorts of shit over there that we could use, not really, but kind of, sort of, holy shit, am I ever tired, alrighty people, let's get the frig out of here, whoops, and we'll head over to, uh, freaking Home Depot there, and get that kit to fix that weed whacker, and we'll see what else they have, we got a little bit of time, oh, dick, Yup, oh, it's hot in here. I got the air conditioning on, but I can't get this freaking hot air to vent. Yeah, it's like uh, 25 degrees Celsius out. We we're supposed to get thunder bangers last night and all day today, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they'll show up later on tonight. You know, that is a good possibility. I really wish I would have brought sunglasses with me though. I don't know why, but I'm so sleepy today. I know I had a hell of a time sleeping last night, so that could be why, but. Yeah, I'm surprised that parcel showed up this quick. So how come China can ship to me so fucking fast, but not when it's coming from Fastac, you know? Not when it's coming from Fastac. It's coming from Fastac, it takes like a month, month and a half. When it's coming from like a, a company that's not Fastac, it's like a week and it's at my, at my house. Like, come on Fastac, what the fuck are you guys doing over there? Smarten up. Worst part is, is that was that email that I got uh, yesterday in my personal account. I forgot that one. There's bound to my eBay. Um, that's what it was. It was those vaporizer pens. So that's some pretty quick shipping from China. That's all I got to say. I was going to do the whole unboxing spiel and all that, but fuck it. If you look up G5 vaporizer on YouTube, you'll find a bunch of videos of people testing them out and showing you how they work. In the end, I don't think it vaporizes. Like, after looking at the, the Vapor Max, uh, the one like Pug One has there, the Flower Mate, and my brother has one called the Sonic. 
and look at the way they're built versus the way these vaporizer pens or the containers that burn dry herbs they burn it they don't vaporize they fucking cook it so I'm pretty sure that's what this one here does too because it doesn't have a separate chamber for the the medicinals it just has your single chamber with a coil on the bottom and let's face it the medicinals are resting right on the coil they're dry when the heat hits it's not going to make all the good stuff vaporize off of it and leave all the bad stuff behind it's going to catch that fucking shit on fire and you're going to be just it's no different than smoking from a pipe or having a yoint honestly like it, it can't be it can't be but uh i don't know we'll find out tonight we'll find out tonight like i know how it should taste from a vaporizer um I, I know how it should taste from a vaporizer so it should taste the same from this and if it tastes like you know not the same then I know damn well it's just cooking the living shit out of it and Pug1 talked about that with the Yokan whatever the fuck it was the Exco or holy shit bud just just jumped in front of me it's cool make me miss my light it's cool it's cool I like missing my lights it's cool bud I don't know. I just think uh, all this, this 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 illegalism about medicinals is ridiculous, and it needs to come to a bittersweet end. I had a talk with my dad about it on Father's Day there, and uh, he knows I use them medicinally. He knows that I have my card or whatever the hell you want, papers or. See, I never signed up with Metrum Group or any of those groups that Pug One and Logie signed up with, so I still have my my papers. But. Um, I don't know when they expire. Well, they expire at the end of the year. Well, in about October. But um, I never bothered jumping onto that bandwagon because my work's benefits wouldn't cover the. Uh, we wouldn't cover it because of the way you have to buy from Metrum's the benefits at work wouldn't cover it where they did cover it when I was getting it the other way. So that's why I decided. Well, fuck that. I'm not going to bother renewing it. I'm just going to say screw this noise and only use it when I need to and just buy small quantities. I have a little bit on me, like maybe at the end of a night, if I can't fall asleep and my anxiety's high, I'll charge like a quarter of a gram, which is a fuck all. And that gets me right where I'm ripped, which a lot of you out there are probably just laughing your asses off now, thinking, holy fuck, I smoke like four grams in a night and that doesn't even touch me and stuff. Well, I'm a lightweight when it comes to that stuff, man. The liquor, no problem. Friggin' chug liquor all day long, get drunk, still operate. I wouldn't dare drive while drunk, but I'm just saying. Well, I wouldn't drive on the streets. I have driven while drunk, but that was at David's farm. But that's what everybody does there because they're dicked. But uh, yeah, it's um, doesn't take much to get me right roaring ripped. That's for sure. And this is why I do not chatch during the day. I only chatch at night when all my work is done and everything. And I can say, okay, I'm going to bed now. And then have a chat. Sometimes I'll be watching Pug One's video, his uh, Pug Life or the THC, like I'll be right before bed and then I'll friggin crank on her, you know, I'll, I'll have uh, I'll have a couple shots for my one hitter because that thing is just great. Even though it looks like a cigarette dart, which it does, it totally looks like a cigarette dart, but you just, you know, you stab it into the, into the medicinals and it grabs a little wad and it fires it into the tip and then you cheat. That's it. That's all, it, that's all it takes me. It's a tiny little quarter gram. And when my prescription was filled out, it's for one gram a day, and I don't even use that. So imagine if I went to Metrum's, and I had to buy the uh, the ounce for 200 and, what is it, 262, I think they said on one of the episodes. Imagine if I bought that, how long that would last me. But Metrum's expects you to reload every month. So every month, spend another $262 on, on medicinals, even though you have a whole shitload left over. Keep buying more. Like, are you serious right now? So that's why I said fuck that. Because like, uh, freaking a quarter of an ounce lasts, uh, like just a quarter of an ounce, people. Lasts me four months. So a full ounce could last me up to a year. Of course, remember, I, 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 I refreezer rate this stuff. I don't know if that's bad for it, but I throw it in the freezer and I only take out what I need, grind it up, and then put it into the one hitter box. That's what's awesome. The box has a storage containment unit for your medicinals. Love that. Just, just, just love that. 
so the fact that I can store my medicinals in a box with the one hitter, if I'm going to a, like a friend's house or something and I just, my anxiety peaks up while I'm at a friend's house, which doesn't happen very often, but it has occurred from time to time, uh, then I can just, you know, take a cheat and go to sleep. Of course, you go outside to do that. You don't do that in their house for fuck's sake. So uh, I have a little bit of respect in things, but yeah. So I guess you could say I'm pretty excited to try out this new, uh, this new e -dirt. See how well she fucking cranks. Or cranks at all for that matter. I wonder if Home Depot would have, like, gear oil. Or not gear oil, but, uh, jack oil. I don't think they sell car parts. Every time I want to park somewhere, there's always a big fucking van coming, eh? Son of a bitch. Oh, look at this. Wait for this parking job. Fuck you. I'm in. Okay, I'm gonna run in and grab some shit. What time is it? Holy. I'm gonna run in and grab some shit and I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Peace the frig out. Alrighty, they didn't have jack oil, which sucks, but they had everything else I wanted. So, that's alright. Fuck, man. I finally find a place worse than Canadian Tire for finding help. And that, my friends, is motherfucking Home Depot. Holy shit. Well, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now take off to the other end of town. Go to Sobeys, pick up the chicken dinner, and then we're gonna go to work. Cause it's only three o'clock right now and this is fucking pathetic. Like, why sit around and pick our bums when we can totally go and get fucking chicken? You know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Don't kid yourself. Yeah, they had uh, a deal on LED light bulbs. I don't know if they're more efficient than those spirally friggin' stupid bulbs, but uh, I shouldn't say those. <laughs> spiral bulbs are stupid. They're actually pretty awesome. Um, they're, you know, when you can use 10 watts and generate 60 watts of light, that's pretty efficient. But uh, holy fuck, do they ever break easily when you're taking them out? You got to be careful when you're removing them things from the E27 socket. I've broken my fair share of those friggin' spirally bulbs. Let me tell you. But uh, they had a deal on them, so I thought I'd pick one up and put it in the bedroom and see how shitty it is. And if it's awesome, then I might see about getting the outdoor ones and put them in my patio lamps. Holy fuck, bud. I thought you were just a single. I didn't realize you were a double. Oh, dick. Oh, fuck. Do we have a train? Yeah. I was about to say, if we have a train, boys, uh, we're taking a different route. We're going the highway and we're going to Metro. Holy. Looks a little congested here, but yeah, like I go into fucking Home Depot, right? And I go over to the string trimmers, and it's just a mess over there. Like they got a bunch of string trimmers, just, just there. Like no organizational nothing. Home lights are mixed with the Ryobis, are mixed with the fucking Toros, are mixed with every. Like it's just a big, great big cluster fuck of tools, and no organization whatsoever. So I'm sitting there trying to figure out where the hell this this fuel kit upgrade thing is. Uh, couldn't find it. Go to hunt a guy down. End up walking across the other side of the building to the 2x4s, like the building material, and finding a guy who uh, paged a dick to seasonal, and it took him like a while to get there. So I get back, and he gets there, and he's like, uh, yeah, what are you looking for? And I'm like, I'm looking for this freaking kit for the Wee Whacker. Oh yeah, we don't have that. And I'm like, well, it says on the website you have eight of them. Oh yeah, they're right here. Like, are you serious? Customer service dicks don't want to do customer service anymore? Like, okay guys, why the fuck are we crawling here? I want to get in front of this transport, but not in front of this red car. Fuck it, I'm getting in front of all of them. The heat is on, people. I want to be in the right-hand lane. I hate being in the second left-hand lane. Just personal preference, that's all, that's all. Aw, oh, dick. Is that a decommed cop car? Oh, dick bud, you're fucked. So, um... Yeah, I'm thinking Sobeys, chicken dinner, could be pretty awesome. But I got the fuel tune-up kit, now I just gotta figure out how to install it. I'm just gonna fucking wing that, I don't, I don't really care. Like, I'm just gonna wing it. If I get it right, cool, if I don't, then I fucked up, you know, I, I fucked up. So we'll, we'll try and get it right, and then uh, maybe if we fix it up, and uh, I know Dad was talking about wanting a battery-operated uh, string trimmer, so... It's probably gonna just tell me to keep the fucking thing, so I'm probably either gonna put it up on Kijiji and sell it or keep it as a backup spare. Like in case I have a friend over and wanna have a weed whacker party, eh? 
You never know, man. Sometimes you can have some pretty awesome weed whacker parties. Surprise Bug One never thought about that one. Now that I said it, he's probably gonna have a weed whacker party one day. But nah, he's got trappers to mow the lawns. Why would he have people running around with weed whackers trotting, knocking down his lawn? Mind you, it could be a good contest to, uh, you know, number one, get your lawn cut, number two, give out free shit. Just putting that out there, people. So I'm gonna have to miss the August long weekend tractor races too, because they're on the August long weekend and I'm gonna be forced to work it because next month is gonna be the month from hell. Because we have so many people off, like we have, in July we have one guy off with, uh, he's getting surgery on his knee, so he's out of commission for a while. Then we have another guy who, uh, well, we got two other people on vacation. So shit's about to get really fucking tight at work, like really fucking tight. It's not going to be good, it's not going to be pleasant. But we'll make do, every day, one day at a time, we'll make do. That's what we do. Last night we got a little nervous because we saw some big suits there walking around outside expecting the building coming into the building and they just walked right in. They had the key and everything and we'd never seen these people before so we were like who the fuck are these guys? They never came upstairs but it was still like who the fuck are these guys you know? Random assholes coming into the building you're like what the fuck like ray shields you know maybe? Man, I didn't like it at first, but I love it now. This chocolate, chocolate banana from, uh, who is this, Hooligan? Yeah, Hooligan Vapes. Man, is it ever good. I didn't think I was gonna like it. I got it. I'm a big, big fan. I'm a big, big fan. At first, it tasted just like chocolate. Now the banana finally matured enough, so it tastes like banana too. And now it tastes like one of those chocolate bananas you buy at a carnival. It's freaking awesome. Oh, come on, light. Quit being a dick. Freaking lights here, eh? Just dickered. Hard to believe that's already Wednesday. This is fucked. June went by super fast. Actually, every month is going by super fast. Fuck, it feels like just yesterday I was pushing the snowblower around. Or pulling the snowblower, I should say, because fucking reverse gear doesn't work. It just sits there and jitters like it has a, it's having a stroke. Stupid snowblower. But uh, Dad thinks he knows what the problem is because he had the problem with his, and he was able to repair his. So I might uh, borrow my father to investigate my thing, my snowblower, and maybe we'll do a repair on it, and I can have my reverse gear back. Just maybe. But anyway, I'm gonna go grab some chicken, right back. Oh, frig yeah, we got chicken, we got Mio for my water at work, we got a car that actually started, and now we gotta get the fuck out of here without causing a major clusterfuck of fucking nonsense and stuff. Man, I swear a lot, I apologize. Listen to that dry strut bearing. Just fucking grind her into the ground, eh? Holy dick. She's fucking hot in here. Yeah, we got the chicken, we got the rice, I bought some coffee whitener so I can have coffees again at home. You got a stop sign? Cool, because I'm going to go. But uh, yeah, we got everything we need to at least be okay for today. <laughs> Now we got a lot of food at the house, I'm not too worried. And like at this asshole in the Kia would have nudged over like, oh, about a foot. I could have went a while ago, but I can go now. So not really, because I'm not sure what the fuck's really going on here. Kids playing in traffic and shit. But uh, yeah, like, we're golden. 326. Still got plenty of time before I gotta be at work, but uh, I got nothing else to do. I could have went over to Staples and window shop, but I always end up leaving there with stuff, so better not. So I was chatting with a buddy last night, and there was a rumor going around that North Bay might be getting a Princess Auto. I don't know about that. I'm almost tempted to contact Dix at PA and say, is this true? You guys bringing a PA to North Bay? Because if you are, you just made me horny. Because, like, Princess Auto is one of those places where you go and you spend two hours there, regardless. Especially if you're Rex, because Rex makes you walk up and down every freaking aisle. Like stuff you don't care about, like sprockets and chains and like silver discs and shit. He'll make you look at that. But uh, for me, I like just going, you know, it's just a great stuff. It's got a lot more better stuff than Canadian Tire for hobby people. Or for people who want to become hobby people. Like Canadian Tire, cheapest welder, 400 bucks. Princess Auto, cheapest welder, 200 bucks, you know? 
sure it's like what Pug called it, it's pig iron, it's garbage, but um, it's good to start on, good to learn off of, and then if you decide you actually want to do some really hardcore welding, then buy yourself a better welder. Some people don't like my uh, logic in that, they're like, well no, you buy the best at first, then you're good to go, but think of it this way, you go out and you spend a thousand dollars on a welder, bring it home, start welding, you go, holy shit, I don't like doing this, I'm just going to pay some asshole to do it, and be done with it, now you got a thousand dollar welder sitting there doing fuck all, so you decide, well, I'll just put it on Kijiji and sell it. You think you're going to get a thousand dollars for that welder? No fucking way, because people out there are going to low budget you, you're lucky to be seeing six hundred bucks for that thousand dollars, you just took a four hundred dollar loss, you know, where if you go out and buy a shitty little two hundred dollar welder, which, you know, it, it works, you just got to, you know, be patient with it and go slow, but it works, then you, you try and you're really getting into it and you really like it and you're like, fuck, I wish I had something with a little bit more pen power, then you go out and you upgrade to a 220 volt son of a bitch with the the halon gas or whatever it's called or not the halon gas but um i can't remember what the fuck the gas is called but anyway that gas fuck is this guy selling hash bricks on the side of the road fuck sakes holy shit it's car to car salesman hash bricks gotta love that welcome to north bay people but um yeah like i forgot what the fuck i was talking about a while ago I just lost my train of thought because it's fucking hash bricks. See the hash deals your ideas. You don't even have to smoke it, just have to see it. That was an idea stolen by ocular displacement and things. Fuck sakes. Well I hope today is as good of a day as it was yesterday. What I mean by that is yesterday was easy sleazy. And I hope today is the same freaking thing. Because I really need that kind. For sakes, that kid almost got smashed up by a car. Well, that would have sucked. That's what the one bonus thing about having this camera going. If I ever catch someone driving recklessly or smash into somebody, all I gotta do is get his license plate in this video feed and I can get them in big fucking shit. Or I could put it up on YouTube and make myself a lot of money because for some reason videos of people getting hit by cars, I don't know why, but they do pretty good. People like to watch other people get fucking injured. It's pretty decked. Pretty decked. My favorite thing is, is people keep asking me, hey Adam, how do you make a viral video? Really? You're asking me how to make a viral video? Don't you think if I knew how to make a fucking viral video, I would have gone viral by now? Like, I would have done it. I would have made a video that got two billion views and bought me a mansion in LA, you know, the type thing. But no, no, I don't know how to do that, fuck. I just make stupid videos about my life, freak sakes. About the different things that go on day to day. And put them on YouTube for you guys to watch, which is, you know, kind of dicked. But, uh, kind of dicked indeed. Oh, friggin' lady in the car beside me, just pluming a dirt. So glad I don't do that anymore. Now, if I ever get around to cleaning up my car, it shouldn't get fluffy like this, because this is all ashes. It's all accumulated ashes and dirt and grime. If it was just dirt and grime, it'd be easier to clean off, but the ashes make it that much harder. And nicotine and fucking tar and all this other nonsense and I wish that cab wouldn't ride my fucking bumper. Holy shit. Take it easy, Paul Walker, the cab driver. This fucking white cab here, this white Impala. Oh, scratch that. I don't think her shorts are short enough for that bike. Looks like the seat's going right up her arse. But, um, yeah, today should be a good day, hopefully really anxious to get home tonight and uh, try out this vaporizer thing. Hopefully it works freaking awesome. Hopefully it tastes like the Sonic. I was wrong, that wasn't my brother's. It was a guy that came to the party that Saturday that I went to that party. Uh, this guy brought uh, the atomizer with him and uh, I tried it out and it was pretty fucking awesome. Just took a little toot off of it, eh? Cause I know if I take a big toot there, I'm gonna, it's gonna knock me flat on my fucking ass. So I know better than to like really haul on it. But uh, just like Pug One said, you gotta go slow. You can't just sit there and hoot on it, like like suck on it like it owes you money or some nonsense. You gotta like take it easy and go slow. Because if you suck on it like it owes you money, then uh, you're gonna end up getting a bunch of herbs in your face or it's just not gonna work right or it's just not gonna atomize right or something. So, can't suck it like you're mad at it, people. You gotta go slow. Just the way she goes. Oh. Fucking Hyundai dealership deck here. Somebody must have brought the car in for servicing. Well, servicing. Getting the oil changed. Need a shuttle. 
fucking 30 minute job and you gotta drop your car off for the whole fucking day. How dumb is that? I hate that about new cars. Yeah, we're gonna void your warranty if you don't get your oil changes done here at the factory. Go fuck yourself. Let's get my oil changes done in my own damn garage. Son of a bitch. I don't see it here, but there was this red Hyundai. And that could have been why that Hyundai thing was here. Uh, belongs to a co-worker of mine. It's a 2000, I'm gonna say 2010 Hyundai Elantra. It's four years old. It's got 32,000 kilometers on it. I shit you not. Four year old car, 32,000 kilometers. Only reason why it has that is because his parents live in Kappa Skasing, so he goes up to Kappa Skasing every once in a while. Other than that, he drives from home to work, back to home, doesn't go out, sometimes does groceries, barely uses the car, lives around the corner from here, like he doesn't live that far, maybe a five minute drive, and um, the car has no mileage. Sure enough, he has it for six months, they call him, they want to do, or not six months, it was a year, they wanted to do the brakes. The car had 2,000 kilometers on it. They wanted to do the brakes. They charged him for doing the brakes. I don't think they did the brakes. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't like those those service schedules, which is why I don't like Hyundai, which is why I don't like Kia, is because they force you to do these monotonous maintenance schedules regardless if they're needed or not. It's like 2,000 kilometers, you don't change the brakes. You don't even look at the oil. You might top up your, your windshield squirter if you've done a lot of highway driving and wasted it. But you don't bring it in for fucking servicing. Like, that's dicked. So, whatever. He had to get the friggin' brakes done at 2,000 kilometers. And uh, he's got another year to go. And then they're going to want to do the timing belt at, what, 40,000? That's fucked. But that's why I don't like uh, Hyundai people. A lot of people said, Adam, get a Hyundai. You'll never regret it. That there, I will regret. Being forced to bring the car in to get serviced because they say it requires it when it doesn't, that would piss me off. And that's why I don't like Hyundai. But anyway, people, this video has been long as fuck. I apologize for that. Uh, hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, click that like button. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. And until next time, people, keep on blogging.